Hi guys, hope you're well. James back once again for a brand new video. And in today's video, I've received some more subscriber mail. So I know who this has come from. This has come from Drew Lawton. So um, Drew sent me a message last week saying he's having a clear out of his collection and wanted to know if I'd like anything. I says, yes, please, mate. That would be, I'll be absolutely grateful so much. So Drew has kindly sent me this box of goodness. I haven't got a clue what's inside, so we're going to open it up and have a little look together. So I just want to say thank you, Drew. So um, Drew's done me a note. So he's he's put, hey, James, hope you haven't seen or got some of these. But if you have, please feel free to include in a giveaway or something. Love your channel. All the best, Drew Lawton. Oh, wow, Drew, that is very kind of you, my friend. Thank you so much. So, yeah, I'm going to have a little look what Drew sent me today. So, uh, get the old uh, knife out. Oh, my God, this box is full to the top of stuff. So, let's have a little look inside what Drew has sent me. Right then, the first thing I'm seeing is... Oh, this is a classic. I do like this one. Jack Black, School of Rock. I remember owning this on Region 1 when it first came out uh, many years ago. What year? 2003? Yeah, I do like this. So thank you, Drew. That is really good. Thank you. I, d I don't think I actually do own this. I think I may have owned it before, but I don't know what happened to it. So yeah, so that's School of Rock. Oh, what else have we got in here? Wow. We've got some Green Street with Elijah Wood and uh, Charlie Hunnam. So I said this one, sorry. Yeah, I've seen this one before. I enjoyed this one. This one's very good. This, this one takes me back actually, 2005. I like the soundtrack to this because it's got a bit of Stone Roses on and I do like Stone Roses. So yeah, that's Green Street. So thank you that, Drew. Oh, what we got here? What's this one? Oh, wow. What's this? From the director of The Exorcist, Bug. Ashley Judd, Michael Shannon and Harry Connick Jr. William Friedkin's best in over 20 years. Was he the guy who... Was he the guy who done The Exorcist? Oh, yeah, he did. The Exorcist and the French Connection, I'm right. So, so that's Bug. I'm looking forward to seeing this one. Oh, I've not seen that. Wow. That's, and that's some of the other titles. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. And what we got next, let's have a look. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is awesome. I don't own this. Thank you so much, Drew. That is absolutely amazing. It's Shane Meadows. And it's um, two films, so you got Small Time and Where's the Money, Ronnie? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. BFI release as well. Thank you so much. Mate, that is amazing. Oh, mate, I can't wait to see this one. Wow. I've, I've seen all of all of um, Shane Meadows' films, but I, I don't have this one for some reason. Wow, thank you so much, Drew. So, what we got next? Let's have a look. Oh, we got some Disney. We got some Mickey. Twice upon a Christmas. Wow. This looks interesting. I don't think I've seen this one. I think I might have seen the first, the Mickey, Mickey Once Upon a Christmas, but I haven't seen this one. Wow, that's epic. I look forward to putting this away for Christmas. We're gonna watch this one at Christmas with the uh, with my little daughter. That's epic. Thank you, Drew. Oh, we got some more Disney. What we got here? We've got Disney's Bolt. I've got to be honest. I think I have this Bolt on Blu-ray already. So yeah, this I I'd enjoyed watching this one. This was a good film. And John Travolta does the voice in this one as well, doesn't he? It's John Travolta and is it? Am I right in saying Miley Cyrus? So that's Bolt. Disney's Bolt. Well, we're not even halfway through yet, guys. This is absolutely unbelievable. I can't thank you enough, Drew. What we've got now? Oh, we've got a classic coming up next. 
Oh man, this film takes me back. This is such a good film. Mrs. Doubtfire. Wow. And it, the little girl out of Matilda's in this, isn't she? What's her name now? Uh, Maria something. Does it say on the back? It doesn't. Maria, Maria Wilson. That's it. Maria Wilson? All right. Yeah. I look forward to seeing Mrs. Doubtfire again. That is epic. What we got next? Oh my goodness me. We got tons more to get through, guys. Oh, we got some fools and horses. Can't go on with a bit of Dell and Rodney and Uncle Albert. And this is series five. Oh. And this what this has got one of my favourite episodes on. It's the longest night when they're all when they think they've won um the the uh, supermarket prize and um that they, they get locked in. And uh, the sh is it the Dark Shadow, I think his name is? The Shadow? And um, yeah, I did enjoy that episode. This is a great series, Series 5. So what we got next? Wow, 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 wow. What we got coming up next? Oh. The complete... Oh, this is nice and shiny. The complete first season of Banshee. Whoa, I've not heard of this show. From the creator of True Bloods. Oh, wow. This looks interesting. Some nice artwork on the front. Someone um, someone digging and there's someone dead there in a puddle of blood. So, yeah, look, I'm looking forward to checking out Banshee. Small Town Big Secrets. Wow. Guys, I think this is going to be quite a long video. So, you might want to strap in and get some popcorn. So, what we got next? Oh yes, here we go. We got dates. More falls and horses with dates. Oh, this episode takes me back. 1988, this one got broadcast. It's where <laughs> it's when he meets Raquel in the train station. He goes, it's like that film, uh, um, Brief Encounter, but he gets mixed up if it <laughs> and says it's Close Encounters of the Third Kind. <laughs> yeah, that is such a good one. And it's when Raquel's the stripper in it. That's the one. So that's Only Fools and Horses Dates. God, classic. Right then, moving on. What we got next? Oh, okay. Bit of Snatch. I did enjoy this film. I don't I don't actually own this film, so thank you so much again, Drew. That's amazing. Um, I know Stephen Graham's in this as well, isn't he? He's, um, what's his name? Mick, Mickey? Mickey? Yeah. Oh, I might be wrong. Put down in the comments below who Stephen Graham played in Snatch because I'm just my mind's just gone plank. <laughs> but you got Jason Statham in here. You got um, Brad Pitt, Jason Statham. Oh, there he is, Tommy. Tommy, he's on the front there. Stephen Graham, silly me. <laughs> Vinnie Jones. So yeah, Snatch. All right then. We're still not even halfway through, guys. We've still got tons, tons to go. And next we've got a film with Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Lawrence, Robert De Niro, Jackie Weaver and Chris Tucker. It's Silver Linings Playbook. Wow. I've not seen this one. But it's got Bradley Cooper in, so I'm, I'm going to enjoy it. And this one come out in 2012. So, yeah interesting so i'm just reading the synopsis on the back well yeah so we look forward to seeing silver linings right then what we got next oh oh hey we got some more fours and horses this time we got series seven and uh this has got the famous episode three men and a woman and a baby so i like i like that so this this was the last series wasn't it before because obviously you had all the specials so series seven was the last proper series which got broadcast in 1991 so i'm very very happy for that but thank you very much so right then what we got next let's have a look oh keep digging oh we got some billy crystal next and daniel stern and Bruno Kirby in City Slickers. Wow. Awesome. Oh, and this looks like it's an old Blockbuster one. That's cool. Oh, yeah. 
I've been lost in City Slickers. It looks fun though, it looks a fun time. So that's City Slickers. Wow, looking forward to checking that one. Right then. Oh. Well, I've got maximum space, I'm running out of space. <laughs> right then. The next one is uh, Ice Cube, Ice Cube, Cuba Cudden Jr. Larry Fishburne, Angela Bassett in Boys in the Hood. Well, this, this is like a two disc special edition. Well, that's awesome. Wow. Oh, you got lots of special features. I mean, you get music videos, you get a documentary. Wow. Well, I actually I can't remember seeing this one. What year did this come out? 91? No, no. I've not seen Boys in the Hood. I look forward to checking out Boys in the Hood again. Oh, wow, what we got next. Oh, wow. This is a film I remember seeing a few years back. And it, it's along the theme of like Football Factory and Green Street. It's ID. It's come out in 95. And it's got, um, if you ever watch Emmerdale Farm, there's a character in it played by Reese. What's his called? Reese, does it sound on the back? Is it? Hang on, Reece Re 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 Dinsdale. He's recently played Paul. He was a gambler in Emmerdale and he's recently died. And he's in this. And that's Warren Clark as well on the front. But this is, uh, I've not seen this for years actually. I really enjoyed this one the first time I saw it. So I'm looking forward to giving that one a rewatch. We got uh, a trailer on a special features on that one. So I'm, wow, I'm looking forward to giving that one a rewatch. So what we got next? Oh, oh, we got. We're still not even done. We've still got the Blu-rays to go because I can see some blue in this box. So we've still got some Blu-rays to go. Right then, next we've got a series, Al Murray, Happy Hour Series One. This looks a good time. I do like Al Murray. Al Murray's quite funny, and uh, he's got he's. This was his chat, sh was it like a chat show, like a comedy show? But was on, I think it was Friday nights on ITV. Back in, oh God, 2008. Was it that long? Because I, I do remember seeing this when it was on TV. I, I vaguely remember it. And he had guests on it. So on this one, the guest he's got, he's got Shane Warne, Buzz Aldrin, Miley in class, Jason Donovan, Emma Bunton, Jodie Kidd, Amanda Holden, Martin Kemp's on here, uh, James Cracknell OBE, Jerry Springer, James Hewitt, Jermaine Jackson, Louis Walsh and David Colfard. Wow, that was something. Might have to re-watch some of those. Looks good. Right then. Oh, oh dear. Still digging in. Here we go, what we got next? Right then, next film we've got Now, Now You See Me. And what a cast in this one. So you got uh, Jesse Einsberg, Mark Ruffalo, Woody Harrelson, Isla Fisher, Dave Franco, with Michael Caine and Morgan Freeman. Is this the one where the magicians... I think it is. Yeah, I think I've saw this before. I can't quite remember. But I'll have, to, I'll have to double check. I think I've saw that one before. So I look forward to watching that again. Now you see me. What a cast though. That's an awesome cast. Right then. Let's keep digging in. That's what we got next. Oh. Wow. We got some uh, Doctor Who. And this is volume one. So this is the first episode with Christopher Eccleston in. And this was from 2005, 2005, yep, and uh, did, I remember seeing this when it got broadcast roles, the first episode, and I was thinking, this, this, this was the first series that drew me in, unfortunately Christopher Eccleston only made one series as the Doctor, which is a shame really, but these three opening episodes are absolutely brilliant, so now you got Rose, then you got The End of the World and The Unquiet Dead. So the first one is the one where you had the uh, the mannequins coming alive in rows. That I did enjoy that episode. 
Yeah, so that's Doctor Who Volume 1. Right then, I think we've got one DVD left. And then we're going to move on to the blues. And next one, we've got uh, Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson in The Bucket List. This looks an interesting watch. I ha I'll be honest, I haven't seen this film. But we've got Waller Castle, Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman teaming up together. And this was from 2007. So, um, and it's directed by Rob Rainer. So I'm looking forward to seeing this one. It's a, they write a bucket list and embark on an adventure of a lifetime. The hilarious and, deep, hilarious and deeply touching tale, the bucket list charts their journey across continents to building a friendship and discovering their own identities. Oh, that sounds interesting. So that's the bucket list. And now we're going to move on to the Blu-rays. So let's see what Blu-rays Drew sent me. So the first one is... The Hateful Eight. This is Quentin Tarantino. It's the eighth film by Quentin Tarantino. I haven't seen this film. So thank you so much for sending it me. That's The Hateful Eight. And what we got next? Let's have a look. Oh. Oh, we've got a film with Jake Gyllenhaal, Forrest Whitaker and Rachel McAdams. So we've got some Southpaw with slip cover that is awesome wow I've, I've wanted to see this film i've not actually watched this one so i'm really um looking for i'm intrigued into looking forward to watching this one it's director of training day in the equalizer so that's southpaw god i'm so lucky thank you so much once again drew this is absolutely amazing. Oh, so what we've got now, we've got a bit of animation. So we've got a delightful and entertaining film which Frozen fans will love. Oh, The Snow Queen. This looks good. It's a good time. It's very much like in the style of Frozen. There's like a little aardvark creature there. It's interesting. I've put this one away for Christmas. Me, I'm sure me and my daughter will love to sit down and watch this one at Christmas. That is absolutely epic. Thank you. Right then, what do we have next? Talking of a uh, film like Frozen, we have Frozen. Not the Disney one, no. This is, um, it's, uh, it's like a, a, oh God. That dog don't look happy on the back, does he? Well, a typical day on the slopes turns into a chilling nightmare for three snowboarders when they get stranded on a chairlift before their last run of the weekend. As the ski patrol switches off the night lights, they realise with growing panic that they've been left behind dangling 100 feet off the ground with no way down. The trio must battle more than just hypothermia as they make a desperate attempt to get off the mountain. Ooh, that sounds interesting. So who we got in this? We got um, Emma Bell, Sean Ashmore, and Kevin Zegers. Zegers. Oh, I look forward to checking out Frozen. Right then, we've still got some blues to go. What we got next? Oh wow, we got some classic Bond. We've got. For your eyes only, with J uh, James Roger Moore from 1981. For your eyes only, and there is digital codes in these as well. So um, we'll maybe do a, a digital gold giveaway. So what we got next? Oh, we got some more Bond. This time we got Sean Connery with from Russia with Love from 1963. Do like me some classic Bond. Thank you so much, Drew. That's very kind. 
Right there, we got four titles left. So let's have a look what we got next. Oh, right, we got another one. We've got Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation with slipcover. Is this the is this number four in the uh, in the films? Because I think I saw this one at the cinema. It does look very familiar to me. Yeah, I did see this one at the cinema. Because my wife's because I, I I didn't really watch Mission Impossible films, and my my wife's a bit of a fan, and she was like, "We'll go we'll go and see it. We'll go and see it." So I saw it, and I, I did actually quite enjoy it. To be fair, so I look forward to giving Mission Impossible Rogue Nation a rewatch. Right then, what we got next? We have oh, with another slip cover. This film, I think this film is really, really underrated for what it is because it is a really good film. It's uh, it's got a good, ca a great cast. It's got Christian Bale, Bradley Cooper, Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, and J Jennifer Lawrence. It's American Hustle with a lovely shiny slip cover. Yeah, I, I don't understand why this film is so underrated, underrated because it even says on there, winner of three BAFTAs, winner of three Golden Globes, but it's, I did enjoy this film. I did enjoy this film. The cast in it is absolutely brilliant. So I can't wait to um, give American Hustle another watch soon. Right then, guys, we're down to the last two Blu-rays in the box. Let's have a look what we got. Oh, wow. So we've got The Bourne Identity with Matt Damon. This one came out in 2008, am I right in thinking? 2008? Oh, sorry, 2002. I was looking when the Blu-ray came out, sorry. Yeah, the perfect high-definition experience. The Bourne Identity. And you do get quite a lot of um, special features on the back. So yeah, Matt Diamond. And the last film in the box, it's another Bourne film, but this time it's with Jeremy Renner again. It's The Bourne Legacy. I, I don't think I've seen The Bourne Legacy. I think I've seen The Bourne Identity. I don't think I've seen this one. So yeah, this one looks an interesting watch. Come out in 2012. It's got Edward Norton, Albert Finney, Joan Allen. Yeah, this one looks interesting. So, um, and Raquel Wise, of course. So, guys, that is everything that Drew has kindly sent me. So, Drew, once again, my friend, thank you so much for sending me that lovely collection of films. That is absolutely epic. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that, so... Mate, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Once again, thanks to Drew Lowton for sending me all that goodness. I can't wait to get stuck into that. So, guys, I'm going to go now. So, thank you once again for watching my video. Give it a like and put a comment down below what you, what sort of stuff you liked, what Drew had sent me. That would be absolutely brilliant. And I'm going to go and I'll see you all in the next video. So, see you later guys. Thanks Drew. Bye.